Hey everybody, I'm back with another retro unboxing, and today we're unboxing a collector's edition, uh, Doll of the World, the Princess Collection. This is, this is the Princess of the Incas, Barbie. So she's pretty cool. She's, um, one, uh, in a series of dolls that were made, uh, for princesses around the world. Let's just see what her back says here says, Barbie, Princess of Incas doll. Over 500 years ago, in a mysterious time of strong and invincible warriors, a beautiful young princess stands at the window of her magnificent stone palace. She lives in the Andes, a lush mountain of the lush mountains of South America. Awe-inspiring, her luscious brown Hair flutters in the breezes, and her dark eyes flash as she surveys the magnificent magnificence before her. Radiant sunlight bathes her tawny skin in warm and brilliance. Her duties and obligations are awesome, as she is responsible for the welfare of her ten thousand subjects, her ten million subjects. She is always regal and elegant as she reigns over the mighty Inca, a proud people who conquer many in what is now Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia, and Chile. Her legacy is to preserve the legend of the glorious land with native riches of gold and silver, turquoise and platinum. Throughout this empire, it is believed that the kings and queens are descendants of the Intai, the powerful sun god. And so, the divine princess wears as many pieces of dazzling golden jewelry as gold is the symbol of this god. And precious metal owned only by royalty. Princess of Inca's Barbie doll is inspired by the regal dynasty of an exotic age. She wears a ta taffet, ta taffet dress in deep blue, and the color, the colorful decorated border, is patterned after authentic Incan textiles. As a princess, she wears gold, golden embellishments, including arm cuffs, a necklace, and a crown, all inspired by ancient Incan artifacts. So, and here are the three girls that are in this um, sub-series um, of the princesses. We got the Princess of the French Court, we have the Princess of Incas, and the Princess of India, which we've already done the uh, the India princess. Um, the other one is coming soon, but, uh, yeah, so here she is. She's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to get her out of her box. And I'm going to go do that now. Okay, so we have our Princess of Inca out of the box, and she's absolutely gorgeous. She, her features are very, um, well, Southern American Asian. You can see how beautiful that face is. Oh my gosh. Alright, where do we start? We'll start with her golden crown. Look at this crown, guys. Um, it is painted in a, um, a gold metallic. You can see all the detail um, that exists on it. Uh, no other, no, nothing other than the gold color. But that's all we wanted. It, it's probably the design that, it, that was... You can, it's almost sort of like a, a, a peacock design, but it's you can see, ah, it's so beautiful. Okay, so her hair is in all these little strands. They're not braids, but they're little mini, like, it's almost like little cords, if you guys can see that. Maybe they are braids. They're like, tw no, they're like twisties. They're like little dreadlock twisty cords. Um, her hair, but her hair is feeling pretty soft. 
There might be a little bit of product in there to keep those all divided, but so gorgeous. She has um, brown eyebrows that match her hair. Her eyeshadow is like a bronzes, a bronzes brown color. And then she has that same lining around her lips and then um, like a, a nudish pink color for her lipstick and her eyes are brown. She has this really cool chest plate that comes down um, around her neck. I guess, it, I guess it would be a choker or a necklace. Um, this piece does go all the way around, I believe. Okay, it goes around to the back, and then it's held on with, I think, an elastic? No, threading. So there's threading that hangs that holds on the back of it, but it's pretty much all the way around. So, yeah, the cool necklace is in that, um, it's, it's plastic, but it's got the chrome um, gold paint on it that matches the top part. Really beautiful. And then she also has what they call armbands on both ends. They're called like gauntlets or something. Gauntlet, gaunt, gauntlets or something like that. Anyhow, and then that brings us to her beautiful dress. Uh, I'm not sure what material this is. Uh, it's not. Not it's not satin. Um, it's very pretty. Um, it reminds me <laughs> of the material that my smock is made out of. Um, at work, but, um, and then she, and then it had, then she has like this, um, almost a hemp like material that has her belt that goes around. So that's a separate piece. And that same material, I think, is this on the bottom or is this painted? Yeah, that same material is on the bottom of half of her dress. So this material stops right about here. And this right here is a different fabric. That's sewn on. So pretty. Um, you notice that's falling out the bottom. There was some paper in there. Stuffing her dress to keep its shape in the box. So we'll just take that out. And the shape did, did retain itself. They probably just didn't want it to go flat in the box. But um, yeah, so that's the thing. And then when we turn her... Oh, we forgot to show you. She does have earrings. They're just little gold studs. But they're a nice little touch. You didn't need anything extravagant because of all the jewelry she had. And here's the back, guys. So our back's a little bit flat, but we can just move that out. So same design carried on to the back. And then look at this. Look at this. Metal snaps. When was the last time you saw that? <laughs> so yeah, and then she has on her stand that's got a clear base. I mean a clear a clear stand apart and then a black base with non-slip um, things on the bottom so she can go kind of anywhere. Her shoes are like that gladiator type shoe, that's like gladiator type sandal. It reminds me of the ones I think that that were on. Uh, which one was it? I think it was the Egyptian, uh, oh, or the Princess of the Nile that we opened up. They're very, they're pre pretty much the same shoes, or same style shoe. Um, I did notice that um, underneath her dress. She is, um, the mold part from her waist, just the middle part of her, uh, is white, almost like they had built-in underwear, which was interesting because none of the other ones did. So maybe it's because she's wearing this type of dress, but, um, the other stuff that she came with, accessories, I guess you want to say, um, she... Came with um, a two-year warranty thing, which obviously is out of date now. Um, a little bit of advertisements for Barbie Bazaar, the magazine. Uh, she came with a registration for uh, a mail-in registration. And then she also came with her um, certificate of authenticity. Authentic, her certificate proving <laughs> that she is a true uh, Mattel Barbie designer girl. And um, that's all we have for you guys today. Uh, another really beautiful doll. I uh, gifted to me. Uh, and yeah, so that's all we have for you guys today. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.